modern technology, medicine, research should not take this long. Where are the answers? Well, the results of a state study into a cluster of cancer cases in two Western New York communities were supposed to be released at the end of 2018. But here we are in April and it's still not done. Now a local family is coming forward to demand answers to help people all over Western New York. And tonight we're holding the powerful accountable. Generations of the Stipp family have called Buffalo's east side home. And when more and more family members started getting cancer, cousins Elijah and Monica Stitt started searching for answers. About 10 years ago, um, my father um, passed away of stage four cancer. With no known history um, and no environmental um, um, uh, issues around him, um, it just was a shock to our family that my father passed. And then six years later, um, uh, Monica's father passed. Their 10 relatives who are either living with cancer or died from cancer either grew up or worked in this hot spot on Buffalo's east side. Monica's dad owned a barber shop in Delavan, and the Stitt family lived mostly within a mile of the old GM plant. Bordered by the 33, the Thruway, and Walden Avenue, there's an area with an unusually large number of cases of six types of cancer including colon and esophageal cancer, the same cancers Monica and Elijah's dads had. Earlier this month, when one of their aunts was diagnosed with stage four cancer, they decided to go public. To see your aunt be diagnosed and, and be sick, is it just opens you up. In July, we reported the state was launching a cancer study on the hotspots, and the goal was to share results by the end of the year. When Elijah couldn't find them, he contacted us. The health department told me it's reviewing cancer data, demographic and occupational factors, and is consulting with the Department of Environmental Conservation on environmental factors that may be contributing to these areas of higher cancer rates. The department anticipates finalizing the report in the coming months. They're continuing to finalize the report. Okay. Yeah. It's just yeah. a blanket statement. It's no answers. I yeah. wonder if it was a different community, would it have been resolved? We've heard about it, but it's like, what happened to it? No mention of it. It's basically out of sight, out of mind. And that's the tough part. If it takes two cousins who lost <laughs> both their uh, fathers to make a difference, we're willing to do that for the city of Buffalo. Elijah and Monica told me they'd like to see more outreach on the east side, and they wonder if there's a connection between the cancer rates and that brownfield site on East Delavan where the old GM plant is. Well, the mayor